Hello, welcome to another session. So now, let us practice the problems on pyramids. So now, let us practice first problem on triangular pyramid. So this is the triangular pyramid having a triangular base, triangular base, and these slant faces are a isosceles triangles. And all these are meeting at one point, that is vertex point or apex. So now the problem is like this. Draw the projections of a triangular pyramid, base side 40 mm and uh, 60 mm altitude means height, axis length, height or altitude is resting with its base side on HP such that its slant side is inclined at 60 degrees to HP. So now let us see, when it, but here there is an inclination, slant side inclination means automatically axis also inclined, axis inclined to HP, axis inclined to HP, they are like this, so triangular pyramid with the base edge resting with on HP such that its slant side is inclined at 60 degrees, 60 degrees to EP. this is the position. So now here the axis is inclined. So now you should assume that before the axis is inclined it was perpendicular to HP, perpendicular to HP and the true shape is obtained in top view and such that one of its base side is perpendicular because here it is resting with its base, with its base, not on corner, resting on its base. So now, so let us start the drawing. First to draw the reference line, XY reference line. Little thick reference line. So XY line. Now you have to construct the triangle such that its base edge is resting on its base edge. That means one you uh, one of its base side should be perpendicular to x y. So in that position, draw one guideline and using template construct the triangle. So take that guideline as reference line and what is the side given? 40 mm at 40 mm, 40 mm mark the points to construct the triangle. So now these are the points. Now join all these points in order so that so this is the first side and which is perpendicular perpendicular to x y line. Now second side and this is third side. Okay. This is the center. So while constructing the triangle we are using template then only mark the center line and in the case of pyramids you should compulsory join all the corners with the center that is compulsory but in the case of prisms it is not necessary but in the case of pyramids it is necessary now project all these points upward before that first project the axis line axis this is the axis line this will be projected like this long line gap dash long line gap. now project the other edges up to the xy line only don't project it only up to xy line only that is reference line if you uh, take the height of the pyramid what is the how much height it is given 60 mm 60 mm on the axis line okay now join the outer edges, slant side, this is another slant side, now this is the base, okay, now notations, notations I am taking here like this, so let me take A, B and C, so this is vertex point O, so looking from the front which is visible, B dash visible, a dash not visible, bracket, and C dash is visible, and this is O dash. Now you have to tilt this front view such that its slant side is inclined at an angle of 60 degrees. So first anywhere on the XY line, mark the point, and using the protractor from that point, incline line at an angle of 60 degrees, 60 degrees. Now join, uh, draw the line, this is 60 degrees, 
okay first draw thin line afterwards you can draw thick line now using compass from this point take this as radius so mark the point again from b dash and c dash as radius draw an arc again c dash and o dash as radius again from o you can cut the arc so before that so you are drawing the inclined line at 60 degrees representing this slant side to this at 90 degrees to this line slant line at 90 degrees draw another line base line now you can easily transfer the distances and after transferring the distance see you can see one second you can see on the base side b to c dash on the base side right then this is the center now itself mark the center axis point then take b dash and o dash as radius radius then again o dash and c dash as radius from this o mark the point now join all these edges so that you are transferred the front tube to the given angle but here axis angle is not given axis angle is not given but this slant side slant side triangular face slant side angle is given like this okay now dot mark the transfer the notations here here it is b dash a dash bracket c dash here it is o dash now draw the projections downwards so in the case of prisms there will be top and bottom points but whereas in the case of pyramid only base points so it is very easy so projections downwards similarly horizontal projections from top view here also don't draw the continuous line only draw the line up to some length only, certain length only. then another line which is passing through c as well as o now so from o dash vertical projector so now this will be o o now you have to locate the points here a horizontal a vertical a b horizontal b vertical b c horizontal c vertical c so these are the three points so looking from the top okay so here only half portion is visible that is b and c is visible b and c is visible as well as c and a is visible a b is not visible so for this first draw a c thick line because this is visible similarly b c is also visible b c also visible now a and b not visible make dash right now join o with a thick line o with c thick line o with b thick line it's like this it is not rhombus but the shape is looking like that. but it is a triangular prism triangular sorry pyramid so like this so it is resting like this so here you can see this side you can see this side you can see this is center one that is c and o and this is a and o and this is b and o and here a b is not visible that's that completes the drawing the base problem is triangular pyramid base at 40 mm height 60 mm base eight side on hp base side one side perpendicular that is second condition axis is inclined at 60 degrees to hp already you know the condition inclined to hp means perpendicular to hp true shape is obtained in top view and that's the second condition resting on with this base side so that one side is perpendicular to the xy line draw the top view front view then rotate the front view such that its slant side is inclined not the axis slant side is inclined first draw the slant side transfer the distance then at 90 degrees draw 
the line here otherwise take the compass take b o as the radius right again b and c as radius arc then o and c as radius cut it no need to draw the perpendicular line also directly you can join the arcs then vertical projectors horizontal projectors here b c visible a c visible but a b is not so join all these edges with the o that completes the problem so now in continuation to the pyramids we let us practice one more problem that is pentagonal pyramid of base 50 mm base 50 mm and axis 60 mm long when it is lying on the ground on one of its base corner such that its axis is inclined at 30 degrees to hp and parallel to hp so this is the pentagonal pyramid you can see the pentagonal pyramid so the base is in the shape of a pentagon and all these edges are is last slant edges are meeting at one point that is vertex point or apex point so this is the pentagonal pyramid you can see the pentagonal pyramid now it is resting on the ground on one of its corner one of its corner not side one of its corner like this so to be like this such that its axis is inclined so like this in this point this is the position of the object so in this position you have to draw the projections in this position you are not able to obtain the true shape therefore what we assume before the axis is inclined to hp it is perpendicular to hp and the true shape is obtained in the top view first to draw the top view then the second condition is resting on its base edge or base side so now here it is base corner base corner it is given base corner so corner should be like this so in this position you have to draw the pentagon so now now you know the position so now starting with a guideline guideline so now corner should come here means the straight side will be at the other side that is left hand side so now using pencil draw one thin guideline guideline again using template so what is the size 30 mm and it's a pentagon so match the 30 mm line and mark the points mark the points then all these join all these points in order first side second side so while marking the pentagon itself mark the midpoint and join all the corners with the midpoint only for pyramid not for prism so now this is the true shape of the top right now marking notations so anywhere in any in any manner i can take the notations let me take notations here a b c d and e this is o now the condition here you can see it is resting on r so condition is satisfied now draw the projections upward from these edges first draw the projection from the axis line that is vertex point so like this you to show not thin line it is axis line long line dash like this then project all the edges or points up to the base line only don't draw the don't project these points too long only up to base that is xy line now take this height on the xy line how much is height 60 mm is the height so mark the point 60 mm then join the all the edges with the o base edges then base point thick then this is another one. so now pass for the notations here so to me looking from the front front which is visible here b is visible c is visible c is visible 
D is visible, E not visible, and A not visible. Here it is voltage. Now you have to rotate this crank tube to the angle that is axis inclined at 30 degrees. Here also similar to the prism when the axis angle is given, axis angle, then subtract the axis angle in the 90 degrees, 90 degrees so that you will get the base angle. Here 90 degrees minus uh, axis angle is 30 degrees, so base angle is 60 degrees. Now anywhere on this xy line, xy line, so graphic xy line, the xy line. Now anywhere on the xy line mark the point using protractor. So base angle is how much? 60 degrees. 60 degrees. Using protractor at 60 degrees mark the point. Join that point. The base point. This is the base angle. How much here it is? 60 degrees but in axis it is given as 30 degrees you will get it. now using compass transfer the distances this is the corner b b to c transfer the distance then d to b transfer the distance so now before joining mark mark the point rotations here it is d dash c dash d dash bracket B dash and A dash bracket. So now this is the center line. That also you have transferred. Now, now to this baseline. To this baseline through this center. Through this center. Draw perpendicular line. Perpendicular 90 degrees line. Then join this base point with this 90 degree perpendicular line. So like this. Now, if you measure this axis angle exactly, you will get 30 degrees, what is required, what is required. But you have not taken the angle, 30 degrees angle to, to tilt the thread tube, but you have taken 60 degrees base angle, okay, that is the easy method, easy method. Now, you have to transfer the height, so how much is height here, don't take measurement, just use compass. Transfer the distance and the joint. So this is the way or method to transfer the distances and to rotate the frame tube. This is O dash. Now through these points we have to draw the projectors downwards. Projector downwards. So first let me draw projector from D dash thin lines. Thin lines. Again horizontal projector. This is corner as well as axis line. Axis line. So similarly, from A projector, from B also projector. From C also projector. Right. Now similarly, vertical projector from vertex point. Now okay now look at the points here O dash O dash horizontal that is O again A horizontal A vertical that is A 
B horizontal, B vertical, it is B. C horizontal, C vertical, C. D horizontal, D vertical. Then again, E horizontal, E vertical. Now, looking from the top, only half of half is visible, other half is not visible. Now, A, B is at the top, this is directly visible. And uh, A, E also visible. And B, C is also visible. Half of the portion is visible. Now, so D to C not visible. And D to E also not visible. Make dashes. Now, you can join all these edges with the O. This is visible edge. O, E visible. O, E is visible. O, B is visible. Then O, C is also so uh, now D O is not visible, make dash lines, dash lines, like this. Okay. So once again you can see the object like this. So it is resting with its corner, it is corner like this. Okay, now A, B, C, D, E. Okay, now from here, here, you cannot see the face, only half portion you can see. O E you can see, O A you can see, O B you can see. And OC you can see, but OD you cannot see. So like this. Okay, visualize yourself and practice it. So that completes the pentagonal pyramid resting with its base corner and axis inclined at 30 degrees. Okay, here also I have not inclined the axis. First I have inclined the base, then automatically I obtained the axis angle. Okay, you should know how to get the basic base angle. Basic inclination. Now, so another problem, let us practice one more problem. So that is about the cone. Cone. Okay, here it is a cone. So here, so let me read the problem. So draw the projections of a cone of diameter 50 mm, height 60 mm long, lying on the ground on one of its base point such that its axis is inclined at 45 degrees to HP and parallel to root. So this is the cone. So you can see the cone, the circular base and all these base points, imaginary points are connected at the vertex point. This is the cone. This is the cone. It is resting on HP, on HP on one of its base point such that its axis is inclined to HP. So here also same condition, an axis is inclined to HP, you should imagine before inclination perpendicular to HP, true shape is obtained in top view. You have to start the drawing with the top view. So first draw the top view. Then rotate the front view to the given angle and finally obtain the final top view. Right. Now so to, to draw the circular base a circle, first you have to draw the axis lines. You have to draw axis lines, then draw the circle. Okay. Vertical axis line, horizontal axis line. Then take the compass. So, what is the diameter given? 50 mm. So, take 25 mm radius. So, intersection point as circle center, draw the circle. Okay. Now, here also, as usual, divide the circle into any number of equal parts. So let me divide this circle also 58 equal equal parts because the diameter is 50 mm. So already you know the method 30 degrees, 60 degrees, 90 degrees, 120 degrees and 150 degrees. So join all these points to the center. Center. But all these lines should be very very thin line. Very very thin line. Now we have to mark the rotations here. Mark the rotations. So here, let me take the points from here. A, B, C, D, E, F, 
G H I J K and L. Now project the points upwards. So before that, draw the X Y line, reference line. Center line, this is center line. Now projector from the edges, thin line, thin line, then projectors from the points on the circle up to the reference line only. Don't project it too long. Now take the height on the axis line. So how much is the height? Height 60 mm from the base, not the 60 mm. Now join only outer edges. Don't not necessary. Don't join the parts that is divisions on the base. Not necessary. It will be clumsy. Okay. So just outer lines are enough. Now here, looking from the front, which are visible, here you can see A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash, E dash, F dash, G dash, H dash, I dash, J dash, K dash, and L dash. All bracket. Okay. So not necessary. Other lines, other end generators from the other points is not necessary. But only for pyramid, it is now. So now again here it is given axis is inclined at 45 degrees. So to convert the axis angle into base angle, 90 degrees minus 45 degrees means it is a 45 degrees. So now take anywhere on the x y line for the point, taking that line as a reference line and at 45 degrees inclined line. Now draw this base line, base line. Right now, see you have to transfer the base points here. So first, so this first point here it is G. G is the first point G dash. So now take the distance from on the base G to D. Transfer here. Again same. It will be equal. This is A. So this point is A dash. This point is D dash. Okay. This point G dash. So now similarly from the D, take the distance B from here up and down. Here you will get B dash you will get, here F dash you will get. Similarly D to C also, here transfer the distance, here you will get C and here you will get E dash. So in bracket, H dash bracket, I dash bracket, J dash bracket, K dash bracket, L dash bracket. So now take this height, vertical height on the axis line. That is how much? 70 mm. So just transfer the distance here. And now this is the O dash. Join only outer edges, not all the points, only outer. Now we draw the projections downwards. Projections downwards from A thin line, from B thin line, from C thin line, from D thin line, again E thin line. G also thin. Again, similarly, horizontal. So first one through X, uh, sorry, through the axis. Right. Now horizontal projectors.
it is like a graph you are getting lines so now you have to mark the points first point a horizontal a vertical a c is a then b c d e f g h i j k yeah now so this is the object so here like this you can see half of the portion visible and the bottom half not visible so make thick line only with the top half like this smooth curve only this curve will give you the appearance good appearance only half portion then only outer edges should be joined with the here also so what I projected from O dash like this now join only line it should be tangential don't join the part it should be just tangential to this base that means the construction of the solving the problem on so projection of a cone diameter 50 mm height 60 mm lying on the ground and one of its base point such that its axis is inclined at 45 degrees like that finally when you observe from the top half portion is visible here half you can see and these two edges you can see in the front view you can see the inclination axis inclination you can see you can show this axis inclination so how much axis inclination what you can this right that ends the problem on four so now in this session you have seen the construction or construction or solving the problems on pyramids and core. Thank you.